Hey guys, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, we're going to be talking about color and pattern overlays. So let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is the type of designs that do well with color and pattern overlays. So typically you would want something like text designs. Uh, maybe you know you have some other designs that would look good as well, but uh, one color is the best. So as you can see, this is all white and they're all text designs too. Even the images are just white and then um, transparent. So the way that we select these is, first of all, we want to select all of these designs in this um, collection. And then we're going to go to more, or excuse me, to more actions up here, image utility. And as you can see, we have color overlay and pattern overlay. Uh, we're going to start with the pattern overlay, but first I want to show you, I do have these additional file slots set up already down here. We have pattern one, pattern two, and color one. So first we'll do a pattern overlay here. We want to select pattern one as the file slot and then we do have a bunch of different options already for you um, for additional patterns and eventually we're going to implement the ability for you to upload your own and also expand on this list that we have here so let's start with a rose gold surface and just add the pattern overlay and remember we do have all of the designs selected so it's going to do this for all five or four in this uh, collection and you can see the active jobs right here uh, just finished doing that one and there you have it there's a rose gold pattern overlay it looks very good on that design uh, you can also view up here in the top right corner we have a grid view that helps you see them a little bit more uh, takes the fields away and you can also select under file slots here pattern one if you'd like to see all of those file slots so those designs look really good and I will show you another example here uh, let's go do another pattern overlay just so you can see what a second one would look like. And let's use watercolor on this one. So once again, the active jobs are here. You can see four designs in queue. It goes very quick, uh, already down to one. And then th those will pop into this pattern two file slot. And there you have it. So that one looks really good as well on this particular design. So that's how you use uh, pattern overlays. And now let's jump into color overlays. Um, Let's say for instance that you had a hundred designs in this collection that were all white text designs and you wanted to upload them to Redbubble and put them on stickers. Uh, Redbubble only, or excuse me, they have a white background as their stickers, so white text you wouldn't even be able to see. So this is where this would be very powerful. We could come up to color overlay, select color one. Uh, we will allow you to put in a hexadecimal code to s essentially look up any color and then select a color from a web page. But for now, let's just select black and add the color overlay. So that's working now. And you'll see that, you know, if you had 100 designs, like I said, all of them would switch over to a black text like this. So that would be very powerful for you uh, and save you tons of time if you were trying to, um, you know, change 100 designs to black text to put those on stickers. So that should do it for this video. Uh, hopefully that all made sense on color and pattern overlays. Uh, we will see you guys in the next one. 